Air bucket of water. A little bit cold coming in last night. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Good day, folks. My name is Jason Nice. Welcome to Jason Northern Outdoor Adventures. Good temperature this morning, minus 10. Wind is in the 20s, gusts close to 40. Not a real ideal morning, but uh, that low drift is making me want to stay by the fire a little bit longer. We're going to start up the super woods now. We got a little mission to go on there this morning. We got to go up probably another close to 60 kilometers up and check out a cabin for a fellow. Going to make the day of it. Not going to be much of a bird hunt today, I don't think, but uh, we might take the gun, have a shot anyway, see if we can get one for a fry for supper. We probably have a boil up somewhere along the way. We'll have to get in the woods. It's close to lunchtime now. We waited as long as we could. <laughs> Wasn't in no rush to get out in that this morning. We're getting geared up there now and uh, get ready to go out and put a few kilometers on the new super whites. Piece of stick, stuck him on the side of the road. Put a snare on it. <laughs> Heavy snare, too, not like rabbit war. Here on the side of the trail. <laughs> the noodle scratcher for the day so far. But not too bad. Conditions are a lot better than what I thought they were going to be. The wind is uh, bad when you hit the causeways and open areas, but most of the running is lying in the woods. Not too bad at all. Can't wait to get up now and check on the cabin and get a good fire going. Have a little mug up. Yeah! This as well. Herbs industrial boy, the first toe, good stuff. Excellent gear. What do you got out cold some night or got wet? They could get you out of a jam in a hurry. Right fast. Oh, I'm real. Wicked stuff in the, <laughs> the best ever I see. I'm going out to invest. Gotta get you out of a jam right quick. Good fire going now and a toast a sandwich, I think. And, uh, we got a bit of tea there in the thermos. We're not going to have to boil the kettle today. We're going to skip that part of it, but still going to be good, no doubt. But just being here after coming up and in the wind and on the causeways and that, just being here in the lawn with a fire going is a nice little warm up. Bite the eat now and then. Cup of tea all finished there and then warmed up nice by the fire. Checked on our buddy's cabin there and we're uh, heading her back. I'm gonna head around back to the cabin now and uh, fry up them time again. Might have a couple more shots on the way out. Kill a couple extra to take home. We'll see. There she is, she's back. We had a bit of GoPro trouble there. 
Oh, batteries is impossible to keep going in these temperatures. We're breaking a bit of trail now. This was a spot I visited the fall. So we decided to come back around and see what was on the go here. Have a little hunt. Break a bit of trail and have a look. Lots of powder and lots of fun. <laughs> Only went bottom up once, it's not bad. So far anyway. We'll try to hit mount and see if we can get some decent video, but like I said, it's hard to do in the cold. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> Took a tumble. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Just like youngsters, eh, boy? <laughs> Back to the cabin there now, got to fry the birds on for the evening. That's today's bounty. <laughs> Gonna fry that up now and uh, a grand old feed off the land. Out this morning for a run, got back last night, fried up a Good old feed of the ptarmigan we killed yesterday. Another meal out of the land. Come out around today. The These duck boxes I can't get to when there's no snow. I put them up in the winter time. I come back and check them later on in the spring. Now I'll definitely go at it and uh, put more sawdust in them and all that good jazz. We're out for a run now, heading over around towards the Jacoby waterway where we do a lot of fishing at in the summertime. And 
just over more or less for a ride as a trapper's trail over at Truer and uh, see for a little run around before we head back to the truck. Gotta wait till the last minute before we go home, you know? Nobody really wants to do that, so drag it in, hey, buddy. <laughs> Let's head around up the trail. Well, folks, like I said, brings us to the end of another video. The canoes are loaded up on the trail are now tied down. We're ready to head her back home. It's a wonderful couple of days. Plus, probably a couple hundred kilometers on the sledge. Got some lots of running, broke some new trails. This trip was more just about more about just getting riding. The first service is up now for Bulletin for next week, so we had to get the kilometers on. You know, the torture chore we had to get done. <laughs> Like, subscribe, drop us a comment, and uh, until next time, stay safe.